concealed carry, personal protection, or home defense. Critical Defense Ammunition, delivering consistent, reliable performance. No matter what platform you choose, Hornady Critical Defense Ammunition. It's a nice day to be out here, isn't it? It is. Well, I think it hit it. I hit something. <laughs> Down a little low. <laughs> yep. Hey, all three hit. Yeah. <laughs> and that one did just the opposite. Yeah. Oh, this must be like the wad. And this one's gonna be the bottom barrel. So the bottom shot a little low, and on this one, the top shot right on. Right on. But we're what, about 10 yards out, or? I think on that one, we're only about five. five yards? Yep. This is, hey, that's one of them. Yeah. Right there. There's another. That does not look like it'd be very pleasant. No, it doesn't. It's that one that I hit here in the bottom and it should be under that box. Oh, it is. Look at that. Yeah. There's one of the rubber stoppers. Yeah. I was curious how this would react, but not quite what I thought. No. I think the... Your other loads are better. Now let's go shoot one. Okay. They hit on the top part. I'm not very good shot. <laughs> Woo! Hey, all right, the second shot was perfect. And then I thought you... I, I think I pulled on the... On the other? Yeah. That's your 45 then, right there. Oh yeah. And then this, this is your buckshot. In there. Now that the rain stopped, we got home <laughs> and that's why we stopped shooting. Down here, you can see where those uh, critical defense versions uh, tumbled. So on this one, it didn't tumble. Four of these came from like the double op buck that we shot out of it. Up here, that one is the 45 Colt. Thing is, is if you shoot enough at it, you're just gonna get them from top to bottom. You're gonna get them in the face, you can get them in the chest, or you're gonna take out their giblets. One of the two. And considering the length of the barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you got a, about a half inch of barrel, half inch of rifling on it. And the other part of it too is is the trigger's different than like a standard trigger. And if you've shot a Bond Arms, you'll know what we're talking about. But we were just discussing off camera, probably take off the trigger guard. So right there, you, this trigger guard, just remove that screw right there, that little Allen screw. You can hold your trigger finger just a little bit lower because it's just awkward. It's a back and down more than it is just a, a pull back. There's a chunk of one of those. And something I like about it, I mean, you get this nice big old fat piece of lead going and it's soft. Oh, this is a nicer look right there. So these have gone through everything, hit the dirt. So they're pretty mutilated. I can't tell you which one was which, but you can see the bottom of it's hollow. So you can get, I guess, an extra ball in there. I thought we had a little, okay. I think this is the one that shot I think it's this one right here. I think that's what this one is. So that thing went through sideways, hit the dirt sideways, and you can see. It's kind of interesting with that hollow base. You pull the trigger once and you, you put anywhere from three to four holes in them. I don't know if they're gonna argue back too much about its ballistic properties and such. I think most of these I think are from the critical defense. I think one or two are probably from the 
the home defense it's just the the buckshot at least in this pistol after using them i think we determined that we'd rather have four pellets and three and the, the buckshot is just as effective i don't know there's probably an application where this thing really performs the way it should um, from what we can see that little red tip's not doing anything to help with expansion <laughs> 